let's start with the most uh, startling one. The cystic teratoma. Cystic teratomas are the most common benign germ cell tumor. That's right. We're not talking about cancer quite yet, though we will be very soon, believe me. Cystic teratomas most commonly present between age 10 to 30. And whenever I hear the word teratoma, I think of a terrarium with its eclectic mix of plant and animal life. And what is that? A couple of molars, maybe? Well, you see how the dirt at the bottom forms three layers? Cystic teratomas contain cells from three different germ cell layers. Mesodermal tissue, such as muscle, and endodermal tissue, such as thyroid and other glands. The most prominent and pretty unsettling component is the ectodermal tissue, which is why you often see hair, sebaceous glands, and teeth in these tumors. On imaging, bright spots of calcification light up from teeth and bone, hence the bright spot on the floor caused by the terrarium as it magnifies the sun. And if that wasn't enough, these tumors smell pretty funky when you cut them open, thanks to all that sebaceous tissue. So just don't disturb the terrarium, okay? Cystic teratomas are frequently asymptomatic, presenting as a painless adnexal mass on routine exam. But, just like other ovarian tumors, if they grow large enough, they become a risk factor for ovarian torsion. Just look at that twisted cord holding up the terrarium. Makes me uncomfortable just looking at it. One especially intriguing type of cystic teratoma is the struma ovarii, which is represented by this shruma ovarii mushroom terrarium. These tumors contain functioning thyroid tissue that will secrete thyroid hormone. What? This means they can cause hyperthyroidism despite a structurally and functionally normal thyroid gland. What? Check out the garden gnome in there sporting a recurring sketchy symbol for hyperthyroidism. A big red thyroid bow tie. On histology, you should see a bunch of thyroid follicles. So we've colored the shrooms to kind of look like a collection of follicles filled with that eosinophilic celluloid material. What other whimsical shroom secrets are in store for us? No magic. Radioactive iodine-123 is often used for diagnosis. Kind of like how a hormone-secreting thyroid nodule will show elevated uptake of I-123. If you see uptake of I-123 in the ovaries, you've got struma ovarii, my friend. <laughs> 